Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Gemini for love and relationship for the month of April 2024. Uh, please forgive me, I'm really sick and I have been sick for the past one week. That's why I didn't do the videos on the first or the past few days. Today I felt a little bit better, but uh, I said, let me do it. I blacked out. I would cough and sneeze, and I hope I don't do that unless, until I finish the video. Ah, uh, sorry. At least I'm trying. How you doing, Gemini's? I love you all. God bless you. Who are you in love with? You always have love and excitement, which is a good thing. Success. Confident. Oh, at least they know the person around you is confident in you and they are approaching you. That's really very good and beautiful. Too many projects, too many plans like you know that you want to do really financially with money and you find yourself not doing any, any of it. Uh, but uh, I'm not saying you're not going to succeed. You will. Success is there. Okay. Money is coming. Luck is coming. Love is coming. Sex is coming. Everything you need. Kids, beautiful kids really around you also like you know that they are really listening lately. They care for you a lot. Okay, this is a great start, lucky for you, dear Gemini. Okay, someone uh, that you are with, it could be a husband, a wife, uh, a boyfriend, girlfriend, they want you to stop really keep giving your money to your kids or brother, sister, family. But they see also that, you know, you have been really giving them, him or her, money, which is your partner. And now they want really to help you with finances a little bit too. Well, that's a good thing. The intention is really very good. They want to bring you a gift. That's a nice thing too. Your birthday is coming, huh? Well, yeah. Huh, okay, all righty. Gemini, you always have someone else on the side. Oh my God, even if you're not doing anything with that person, but there is always that person you think about or you want or desire. Or you just keep it in your heart and your mind and you don't do nothing. A lot of you, uh, people like you. A lot of you do. Okay. The person you are with is in love with you. The person that you are looking forward to, they like you too. There is a person or another person also. They love you and think about you, but you are not really doing nothing about it, you know. Gemini. Okay. So the whole love department is open for you. It's a beautiful, beautiful channel for you. Why does chair keep making noises? It's annoying. You feel like you know, that your person is holding on somebody else. That's why you want to move on to somebody else. All right. 
Is this something that you are creating in your mind and you say, they love someone else, that I'm going to be really doing something? Because sometimes what happens to us, like, you know, that we see someone we like, and here's the spouse. We start to, you know, like, to look at things that we don't like about the spouse or the boyfriend or girlfriend, okay? You are doing this, you start to fight with them. It's natural feeling because you start to like the other one and you tell them, you did this, you did this to me, you did that to me in the past, you are doing this against me. You become irritable, like, you know, like, you know, you, and you try to find an excuse why you want to go to someone else in the first place or to do something else. I don't know if you ever noticed that, you know, or routine, you know, I found someone. Let me really go and fight with the one I have. Then problems after problems, it happens. And your your current relationship, he or she, like, why oh, you can be as a dude? What did I do to you? They done nothing bad to you. But you are kind of like, no, you are cheating. You cheated on me 16 million years ago. And I'm still angry about it because you want to find an excuse to be with someone. So you have to blame this one about something. So you create the problem. At the end, say, what's wrong with us? Why are we are fighting like that? Because in your subconscious, without you realizing, you are creating the problem between you and the current one because you like someone else. And why you like someone else? Because this person, maybe he hasn't, he or she hasn't been coming through with you about certain things that you want. Even you are trying to find pictures on their phone, text messages, you always have that blame. You did something. See, a person told you, like, thank you, and you told them, you are welcome. You are flirting with them. You are cheating. No, uh, that doesn't mean I'm cheating. <laughs> you just want it to be. It's not like, you know, you want your partner to be cheating. No. But it's kind of like, that's a sign. See, I caught something. Now I'm going to leave you or uh, go and fool around. Uh -huh. Many of you, I see that, you know, you like somebody else and uh, you interact with them, like, do really intimately. Many of you like somebody else and you don't really do nothing at all about it, but you are kind of like what you are missing in your life, that excitement, beautiful feeling. Because sometimes you you are okay with your person, the current relationship. There is nothing wrong with it at all. But you are missing that warm, beautiful, exciting feeling. That's what you are looking for, excitement. There is love in your life, in your current relationship. Everything working is smooth. But it's kind of like... Normal, damned. There is no challenge in it. There is no excitement, and you want that excitement. So here we go. You look at someone else, and you say, "Wait a minute. Let me really try to fault my partner because I need to go. I need to do something." So your your partner noticed that you are holding on so much luck like, you know, against them from maybe something happened a year ago, ten years ago, five years ago, three years ago, and you did not let go of everything. They become undecided. Where are you coming from? Are you pushing me away now because I did something in the past and we forgave each other? We let it go. We established a different connection together. And now you want to dwell on it? Why now? He or she doesn't understand. And they believe that you're going to cut it off and walk away because you hate them or you want your space or your freedom. I'm not saying every single spouse of yours or current relationship, it doesn't have to be husband and wife, that they are really innocent. Some of them, I see like you know, that there is another person next to them. And some, some of them, like you know, that you see this, 
means something else. They confide in you. You are the only one. That's why they are busy with their work and everything because they are so blinded. They close their eyes and they are not watching you because they feel like you know, everything is working very well. But some of them need really to open their eyes and pay attention here. Uh-huh. Gemini doesn't just sit around and do nothing. I sit around and do nothing. I think I'm satisfied and I'm grateful for everything. But, uh, you know, I'm not too young, but I'm satisfied. But I'm not against love, you know, do whatever you want. Don't really beat me up about it. Hold on. <laughs> God, that hurts. Alrighty. Yep, your person likely to believe that you are in a relationship with them. It's really positive. It's growing more. And they want that relationship. But they feel like you know, sometimes you have some insecurity to mention someone from their past. Why now? I hear that word, insecure. Okay. You are like, that's it. They told me something. I'm separating. I'm leaving. I can't really do it. I can't be really... Having someone else, I'm sick and tired of really like being like really there for you, doing everything. Uh, you sit there like you wanna fight with your person. You wanna, in your mind, you know. Sometimes even you don't mention it. You wanna fight with them. You wanna argue with them because there are certain things that you want. You wanted to change, and you have been very patient, and it's not changing. And that is yes, true. So I'm not saying your partner is 100% perfect. They have been ignoring things with you. It's getting on your nerve and you need a change. Since you have been repeating yourself over and over and it's not changing, you are looking for someone to make you happy. You deserve to be happy. So whatever you do, it's your choice, it's your destiny. Don't listen to me. Do whatever you want. But... If you have a good person around you and they done nothing to hurt you, it's really a loss, you know, to lose that relationship. Because not every day you find someone that they care for you and understand you. Put that in your mind too. Your person believes sometimes you really like, you know, just to do a lot of effort toward them or toward other things in your life also, and you destroy it, destroy it. You don't care, you just walk away from it. That's what's worrying them the most. That's why they are protective over you, Does not want, they don't want you to walk away. They are worried about it. My husband is really sick too, he's I don't know if you can hear him coughing in the background. Maybe not. You need to relax. But you feel sometimes that you are doing things alone and it's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair. I tell you, yes. It is not fair for you to do everything alone. Because I see the lack, like, you know, if your spouse, like, you know, trying to do things in occasions, not the work or the hard work that you do. And yes, it's not really fair for you. You try so much. Sometimes you don't even take a break. You deserve to be happy. So if there is someone better out there for you, be happy. Don't worry about anybody. Best of luck for you, dear Gemini. And I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading... <laughs> Please contact me. And the link for my website is below this video. Excuse me. In the description of box, you find all of the information. My website, click on it. Click on reading prices. Purchase your reading, then give me a call. And the phone number is listed on my website. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.